Reminiscences of an Indian Ian from the Sassafras Log Behind the Barn in Posey County to Broader Fields by Julius Augustus Lemke is a fascinating memoir that offers a vivid portrayal of the author's life and the broader social and cultural milieu of 19th century Indiana. Lemke's work is not merely a personal history but also a rich tapestry of the American frontier experience, capturing the spirit of a transformative era in the nation's development. The memoir begins with Lemke's early years in Posey County, Indiana, a place characterized by its rural simplicity and rustic charm. The sassafras log behind the barn symbolizes the humble beginnings and the close-knit community that shaped Lemke's formative years. His descriptions of the natural landscape, the seasonal rhythms, and the daily routines of farm life provide an authentic glimpse into the pastoral existence of Indiana in the mid-1800s. Lemke's narrative is imbued with a sense of nostalgia, yet it does not shy away from the hardships and challenges faced by frontier families. One of the remarkable aspects of Lemke's writing is his attention to detail and his ability to evoke a strong sense of place. He recounts the vibrant local customs, the folk traditions, and the communal gatherings that were integral to life in Posey County. These recollections are not only personally significant but also serve as valuable historical records of a bygone era. Through his eyes, readers can appreciate the importance of community solidarity and the shared experiences that bound people together in rural Indiana. As Lemke's life progresses, the memoir transitions to broader fields, both literally and metaphorically. He describes his ventures beyond the confines of Posey County, exploring new opportunities and facing the uncertainties of the wider world. This journey reflects the broader American experience of westward expansion and the pursuit of prosperity. Lemke's encounters with diverse people and places underscore the dynamic nature of 19th-century America, marked by rapid growth and social change. A key theme in Lemke's memoir is the pursuit of education and self-improvement. Despite the limited resources available in his early years, he demonstrates a relentless drive to better himself and expand his horizons. His determination to seek knowledge and develop new skills is a testament to the pioneering spirit that defined the era. This aspect of his story resonates with the broader American ideal of self-made success and the belief in the transformative power of education. Lemke also provides insightful commentary on the economic and political developments of his time. His observations on the impact of industrialization, the rise of new technologies, and the shifting economic landscape offer valuable perspectives on the forces that were reshaping American society. He reflects on the opportunities and challenges brought about by these changes, highlighting the adaptability and resilience required to navigate the evolving world. Throughout the memoir, Lemke's narrative voice is engaging and reflective, characterized by a blend of personal anecdote and historical observation. His writing is marked by a deep sense of gratitude for the experiences that shaped his life and a profound appreciation for the people who influenced him. This personal touch adds a layer of intimacy to the memoir, making it not just a historical document but a heartfelt tribute to a bygone era. In conclusion, Reminiscences of an Indian Ian from the Sassafras Log Behind the Barn in Posey County to Broader Fields is a compelling account of one man's journey through the changing landscapes of 19th century America. Julius Augustus Lemke's memoir offers valuable insights into the social, economic, and cultural dynamics of the time, while also celebrating the enduring values of hard work, community, and self improvement. It is a rich and evocative work that captures the essence of the American frontier experience and the spirit of an enterprising nation.